mat. When your hands directly underneath your shoulders, your knees directly underneath your hips. I'm just going to start with a little bit of foot ankle work from here and there. You can come down into your forearms if that's better for your um, wrists. So we're going to tuck the foot that's closest to me and just feel that stretch lengthen and then just flip those toes and ankles away, change sides, tuck and then flick away. So you might prefer to be here. So tuck, just keep the weight sat back and away you go. So breathe in, in stretch through the toes, breathe out as you release. So we're going to tuck underneath, get that stretch into the arch of the feet. Because remember, underneath that uh, big toe line, that's a really important joint, that if this, keep going, if this joint gets a bit stiff or stuck, you'll have problems when you walk, run, etc. So you're probably on your opposite side now. Just tuck and release. Then do both together, to both toes, and then just start to shift your weight back. So you can open from that shoulder line, Feel that length. And you come in here, this is fine, this is the position you've been. And then release, tuck, and release. So lengthen away. Breathe in, in, sit back, lengthen, and then breathe out. Okay, we're going to do another four. Press. Direction. So you can always lay on your back and do this if this is better for your body. Keep that eye gaze long and change in size. So we're going to go six, five, four, three, two, and change direction. Six. Of the big toe here and shift the weight back. 
Again, this can be done in standing with the hands against the wall if this isn't great for your weight bearing purposes. Or we could even be here. Okay, another two. And release. Gonna change sides. Lengthen. Just level out the pelvis so you're not dipping into your back. And then shift the weight. Breathe in, breathe out. How does this side feel compared to your other side? So lengthen, press. So there's the muscles back of the knee joint that often gets forgotten about. That point to your muscles are stretching and lengthening. All going through your foot, through your ankle work. And I would obviously keep encouraging skin alone, but it might be worth having a look at what your foot's doing. Is it rolling in? Is it rolling out? Because whatever your foot's doing, you're near the hip or you're mimicking that action. And release. Okay, so from here, you're going to tuck the toes again. Now you might need to um, come on to the distance, and that's fine. Depends on the arm end. And then we're going to see if we can roll back. So you're keeping the bottom low, stretching into the um, soleus muscle there on that bent leg and forward. So you've just done the one lower leg muscle, that gastrocnemius muscle. And now we're doing the soleus. So roll. You might have the heels down, they might not go down. That doesn't matter. Just go to where it suits you. So this is great as well. Sometimes when the Achilles gets a little bit stiff or tissues get stuck, around that area. That's because that stiletto muscle is tight. Okay, two more. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. And release. Okay, take a little seat back. Have the same head. How's that? Okay, from here, you're gonna now come down into a little um, flexion and extension action with the spine. So from here, from your full point position, which, um, in fact, before we do that, just mobilize your pelvis here. So all we're doing is sending the tail down, so I'm not moving my whole back yet, just the tail. So take your mind to your sitting bones, they're gonna go down the back of the thigh, and then release. Just imagine that ice cream melting, Breathe in, breathe out. So your lower abdominals are actually working here to control this exercise. One more. Okay, now go right to left. Little swish of the tail. See how that feels. Dip the spine as you go back. So flexion, 
and then extension. So round, lengthen. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep that going. Okay, now you're going to change this movement. So you're going to be dipped and then rounded to go back. So we dip and then we round to go back. How does that feel? Which way do you think is easier? <laughs> One more. So there's abdominal lines, freeing up the spine and release and just bring yourselves back. Good. Okay. From here onto the knees. So really free into that body. Right foot in front. Okay, now we're going to bring our hands either side. The back foot is going to be tucked. You could be honest with this if you like to, and that right foot. So take the back foot off the floor if you can. So you're here, and let them back, let them do this side on now. So from this position here, you're going to bring the fingertips to the side. Now as you bend the knee, I would like you to twist, centre. So try and keep your pelvis facing forward, bend and twist. Three. Stay here, four. So on the bend is when you twist, five, one more. Six. Okay, step your back foot forward. Step your um, front foot back. So we're going to just switch sides. Okay, from here. And then I can face you. Hand to the side, straighten. So on the bend, you rotate. Now watch that knee isn't going anywhere. So breathe. Inhale, and we're going to go up, two, three, 
four, lengthen, bend the elbows, drop the shoulders, press into the feet. So I really want you to feel this here. Now control that down. Okay, one more like this. Breathe in, breathe out, lengthen, bend the elbows, stand into your feet, let your leg really press the feet. That will make a huge difference in the midsection. Then the hands come to the side. We go spinal curl, breathe in, press into your feet and peel, bottom, waistband. Smaller back, lower ribs, mid ribs, upper ribs. Watch the knees go come out to the side of your one. Inhale, exhale, now just soften through the jawline. Melt through the sternum and lengthen. Now let's bring the arms, breathe. Hold, now send your arms around the outside of your body as you come back down. If you've got space, if not, that's fine. And release. Okay, from here, float the right leg. Breathing in, breathing out. Lengthen. Now really focus on that form. Now keep that leg exactly where it is. Release the hands. Press into your foot, left peel. Single leg, spinal curl. You could have the foot dropped if you prefer. Open the front of the thigh. Smooth down. So you might get a little shake there, that core control, so we're not just slamming the body down. Same movement with the arms. Momentarily pause, press off this left foot, feel the hip open, and the thigh release. Okay, switch sides. Chest lift first, breathe in, breathe out. Press thighs into hands. Control. Let go. Heel. So you can do the first one with the hands down. Watch this music going out. Keep the alignment. And then double. Now you're going to lift 
both feet off the floor if you can, for those who lift them singly, and hold. Now keep this connection with your um, inside line one moment. Keep reaching away. Now you're going to lift the top leg. Don't let the underneath leg go anywhere. Pull the toes towards you and lower. So we're breathing in, flex, breathe out, and three, four, curl down, five, control, six, stay there, lift, hold, now see if you can go into your scissors, so working into that waistline. Watch your underneath leg. One, isn't dropping down here. And two, as it goes back, the knee isn't bending. Keep the leg straight. And then release down. Good work. Okay, we should have felt that into that side leg. Okay, from here, roll over onto your front. Let's stretch the arm out. So we're going to work into that back line. We're going to take it into that Pilates swimming exercise. So you feet it into your hip width, or you can go shoulder if that's better on your body. Relax the head and neck. So we're going to take an inward breath. Exhale, float the right arm, left leg. So you're also coming up with the chest if you can, rather than just keeping it down. Breathe in. Breathe out. So alternating sides. So you're not in your lower back. And we're going to pause. Now take the left leg out to the side, back in, down you go. Coming up, pause. Take your right leg out to the side, in line, and down you go. This time, take the arm and the leg.
one leg forward, one leg back. Stay focused. And three, two, and one. Excellent release. Good work. Roll over onto your back. Okay, let's add a little rotation here. Take your right foot to the other side of the left leg. Or left knee, I should say. Right knee goes to the corner of the room. Foot is flat as you move right to left. So we'll get a glute stretch here. And if you like, you could be here. One more on each side. And then we're going to change legs. Take the opposite leg. And then you might want to start with the arms down. So we're here. Just release the glutes. Now you should notice the difference, hopefully, in the way you move, having released the, the foot line. And that lengthens into that lower leg line earlier. Back to centre. Okay, now take one leg, but if you can today, take two together, draw it in so you've got that stretch. Then keep the bottom down, just press away. And then release. And you can roll up or come onto your side, however you prefer to come into that seated position. And then from here, take a breath in, take a breath out, inhale, exhale, one more each side, feel that stretch, and center.